In episode four of Medea, Jason returns and demands to know what Medea wants from him. Putting her plan into action, Medea begins by asking his forgiveness, <sighs> saying she was foolish to be angry with him for seeking an advantageous marriage that will link their sons to royalty. She summons their children to come and see their parents mending things. Medea cries, <laughs> holding the children, and the chorus leader weeps too, knowing what will come to pass. Jason tells his sons they will grow up to rule Corinth alongside their future half-brothers. Medea weeps more. When Jason asks why Medea weeps, she says tears are just the normal response for women. Medea says she will accept her own exile, but asks Jason to implore Creon not to exile the children. Medea says she wants to offer the princess the crown and gown as gifts, explaining they were passed down from her grandfather, Helios. Medea tells the children to deliver them and make sure they are placed only in the princess's hands. Dramatic irony is when the audience or reader knows more about what will come to pass than the characters do. And it's thick here, as the audience knows Medea's plan, while Jason does not. Euripides adds layers to the dramatic irony because the audience still must make guesses about her character development. Where is her inner journey at this point in the tragedy? Does she truly weep for the children? The symbol of the marriage house is significant. All action takes place outside of it. The poisoned crown symbolizes Jason's ill-fated thirst for royal status, which he hopes to gain through his marriage to the princess. 